That is the last stop. We are on our way. Setting course for Duelist Kingdom. Hopefully you've all brought sunscreen. Anyway, to spice things up a bit, I have also acquired eight remarkably rare cards. The first eight duelists on board who win a duel will be given one of these exquisite cards. Hopefully that should give you some incentive to avoid being kicked off the boat. Good luck. Toodles! Oh, mm, you're well. actually drinking? That uh, is water, man. Oh, okay. I thought what, what, no, 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 deep fuel doesn't come in glasses like that. No, I'm Big just drinking a bottle of water. Okay. I'm, 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 I don't, like I said, I don't, I tell you, I don't like it. No, no, I get it, I get it. Just, you, you what? 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 Hmm? Hmm? Come again? Nah. So, uh, Pegasus said that we can uh, get a rare card if we win a duel. Yeah. I'm yeah. actually kind of surprised, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of interesting. I wonder, mm -hmm. what, I wonder if they're like new cards or if they're like old rare ones. Ooh, I think they're new. Does he still That's design great. cards or? I mean, I guess Probably so. People do it for him, to be honest, but. Hmm. I think this so. could be a trick. Uh, what do you mean a trick? Well, you know what Pegasus can be like. I believe. Yeah, that. but it's, it's been years since then. Still, I mean, yeah. he probably holds a guard against me. Yeah, but he hasn't met you guys, so. I feel like I'm missing something here. Am I missing something? No, I just you stole yeah. his virtual world and stuck him in the Shadow Realm. No big oh, deal. Okay, so that I know, but okay. I kind of got the Millennium Eye from him back when he had it. So, you know, this is cool. So he has reasons uh, to hate both of you. Oh. Yeah, oh. this isn't our first Duel's Kingdom. Absolutely wonderful. <sighs> Neat. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, okay. Well, still, it might be perfectly fine. Should be right. Yeah. Problem. Look, yeah. Do you think anyone on this boat has any good rare cards? I uh, imagine so. Yeah. Maybe? You know, I've heard of, I've heard rumors that a, that a Pegasus was working on some special stuff. It was just rumors that Kaiba told me when he, when we were traveling together. Uh, you traveled with Kaiba? For a little bit. He was getting a little frustrated that I had been able to find a master, so he went to a couple sites with me. He helped me clear them out, but then he saw what I was dealing with. The fact that no one knows where this guy is. Well. You're doing his job right then. <sighs> anyway, we need to get some duels going. Should we just yeah. duel each other, get some wins like that? Or, well, I guess then only half of us would be winning. I don't know how much time until we get to the. Uh, yeah, exactly. Island. Well, we can find other people, maybe. Might be a good idea. Um, we gotta film a commercial. Now? A commercial? Uh huh, right now. Why right now? Why? Why um, specifically here? Seeing this place, it is a free location of beauty. That's In pretty the middle nice, of the ocean. Who doesn't love a good ocean commercial? We're on a yacht right now. I mean,. It does make sense, but we got don't a free you think, you think about the you know competition first. Getting some. Yeah, I know. Like that's the one thing I want to focus on more. Really. You don't want to scope out the other duelists. I like you were in that duel with the Lance Star Twins. We smoked them. I'm not worried at all. Well, it's more of you smoked them. I just kind of sent our cards back to their. Like salmon, the little fish ran away, and we won't see them again. They're out. Yeah, but that sure. doesn't mean they're the only other good duelists in the world. There's tons yeah, of other good duelists. I mean, this yeah. is literally what the tournament's for. I mean, what about some of your other friends? Like, some of them that are from the first Duelist Kingdom. I'm sure they could possibly be in this tournament, right? Possible. You're talking about Tiger. There's no way he's coming back to the tournament. He's retired. Hmm? I mean, uh, you were retired yesterday. Another one. What about the one that won Battle City? I don't know. I don't know who's here. We're going to find out. The only way to find out is to look around a boat and ask. We don't even yes, know if this yeah. is the only boat headed there. That's true, actually. That's so, a good point. you guys can look around the boat and ask, but me and Boat here, we have a commercial to film. It's in the do, you know I, do you know I hate doing these commercials? How yeah, many commercials have you what? done? Too he, many! He, he's the face of D Fuel. He has to do the commercials. You know, you got to get your recognition out there. Do you want to be as famous as the Landstar Twins? Yes, yes, you do. The answer is yes. Does he, though? Uh, I mean, I'm, 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 
I'd rather be better than the same level as them, but you know. Well, I'm just talking about fame. Attitude, absolutely not. You give me that attitude, and I'm gonna drop you in the ocean. I mean, I don't really care too much about fame. I just want to do people, man. You know this. Probably the boat wouldn't he do well in the ocean? Wow, thanks yeah. for that. Yeah, it, took, it, was, it was sitting right there. Can't. We got a boat on a boat. That one. Boat on a boat. Yep. Alright, right, so you ready for this? You got you got your lines? Let's do it. You, you don't give me any lines! Yep, I know, it's great. It's improv. We make a killer amount on these commercials. All because your improv skills are terrible. Let's go. See you yeah. later. Catch you later. We're gonna go find find some other duelists. Uh. Yeah. Are you down here? Yeah, looks like we got a few duelists. Hey, guys. Hey. Huh. Bart? Hello, Mario. What are you doing here? Well, I owed someone a favor, so I was forced to come here for this tournament. Yeah. See, I told you, duelists from all around the world would be coming. Yeah, I thought there was, like, another tournament, though, happening. Huh. Whatever. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Zylo. This is Mario. Yeah, yeah. We know each other very well. Yeah. Some right. important things. Oh, jeez. What? Oh. oh. Hi. What are you humans planning? Humans? Um, just having a conversation, really. Conversation. Not a battle tactic or anything, nonetheless. Is that correct? No. No. No battle tactics here. Just friendly conversation i mean um, i don't think anyone was planning on talking about their dual strategy since we're all facing each other i was kind of curious on everyone's deck but um as i, as I said i'm xylo i think nice to meet you arian is that your name correct okay this is mario hello mm, greetings uh, Okay, Reading this is weird. Indeed. Yeah, it's just a little weird. I'm just gonna stand over here. Yeah, but cool. I'm scared that she's gonna pull out something on us, so... Mm. I do not carry any weapons on me. Okay. No laser yeah. guns or anything? No. So oh. she's just another duelist, so... Okay. Correct. What is, where does Pegasus find all these people? I don't know. As I said, duelists from around the world. Or... I mean, to be fair. You know, I'm, I'm using dinosaurs out here, so... Yeah, true, I guess. I do have a dragon in my other deck that is literally made out of gems, so... Yeah. Weird people, weird duelists. Not that anyone here is weird. We're just all interesting individuals, I'm sure. Speaking of which, you over there. What's your name? Uh, uh, I'm Sean. Hello, Sean. Sorry, I'm working on my deck a little bit over here. Oh. What you doing with it? I'm trying to find a new synchro monster to help work on my battle ball. Hmm, They're battle not ball. really matching up my playstyle. You running those super heavy samurais I heard about? Yes, indeed. No, uh, okay. I heard about them. They can, they can get rid of an ace monster like nothing, actually. If you're not careful. Hmm. We'll what do you think I'm running them? Hmm. Well, you guys hear what Pegasus said earlier? The, the rare horse. cards. Yeah. yeah. They're listening in, at least. I have heard about the winged horse and how we were all invited here to compete. Yes. The winged horse? The winged... You know he's a Pegasus. person, right? Winged horse. I do not like his human name, so I call him the winged horse to make him sound unique. That is what a Pegasus is, but... Yeah. You know, I actually just thought about it. He has white hair as well, doesn't he? Well, yeah. I'm sure. Pegasus is known to be a white-haired horse, or whatever. True. There could be different colored Pegasus, but yeah, I guess I haven't seen too many of those. Yeah. Not that I've ever seen a Pegasus. I've heard of a blue Pegasus once, but hmm. that was from something else. I think a dark one is supposed to be like an omen or something, whatever. Um, yeah. An omen of death. Good to know. Yeah, so we we're probably going to see if we can find anyone to duel out here. I don't know if well, anyone's up for any challenges or anything. Yeah. Passes the time, at least. Hmm. Yo, pass. I'm down to get this new deck started. Hmm. Huh. Sure, I'll, 
I'll take on the super heavy samurai guy. Oh, the warrior versus uh, warrior action. Well, I think you're a machine, right? Yeah, they're machines. Oh, they're machine. You would think samurais would be warriors. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. They are super heavy. But if and... Art's not going to duel, that means... Uh... Very hey! Nice. Um, you want to duel? Okay. Okay, that was... That was easy. I guess split up, find some places to duel, get our yeah. duel discs at the ready, yeah, I think make I'll... this happen. Let's uh, let's duel out by the back then. More room there back right, here. There you got it. All right, good luck, you guys. Yeah. <sighs> so you're a uh, super heavy samurai duelist. Heard about them taking, making their rounds in some of the tournaments. How dangerous they can be. Yeah, I've heard about your colossal fighter. Oh. You were those people from that London attack or whatever, right? Yeah, that was quite some time ago, but yeah, I helped stop it. Hey, you should be, be a challenge, I guess. I'll be more than a challenge. I'll be that hurdle you can't overcome. I'd like to see it. Let's huh. get this started. Alright, let's duel. Well, since you decided to challenge me, I'll say you go first. Alright, that's fine with me. Okay. First off, I'll play the Pot of Greed spell card, which allows me to draw two additional cards. Alright. I'll set this card down, and I'll set another card face down, and I'll end the turn. Alright, I'll draw, and then I'm going to summon my Super Heavy Samurai Magnet to the field. Then I'll activate its effect, and also summon my Super Heavy Samurai Drum. In defense mode, of course. All right. And for now, that's where I'm going to end it off. Well, that Super Heavy Samurai Magnet has high defense. But, I'll then flip summon my Robot Buster. And I will attack. I can attack your drum? My Magnet's ability is the only one you can attack if he's on the field. Alright, then I will tribute my Robot Buster to set another card face down and end my turn. Ah, this is perfect. I'm going to normal summon another Super Heavy Samurai Magnet. I'll activate its effect. And I would say... Let's get a Scales on the field. Now... I'll have my scales attack your face down, monster. That was a bad idea. You ran right into my shield, which 3,000 defense. Yeah, that'll hurt. Well, I guess I will just end my turn there. My draw? Not enough yet. Unless... Hmm, no, I don't think that will work, will it? Okay. I normal summon my Goblin Bird. When he's normal summoned, I can then special summon Rose, Warrior Revenge. Next, I'll then tune together. You would be good right now, Colossal Fighter, but you're not the one I need right now. I then tune together S Rose with the Goblinberg to bring out the Scrap Dragon. Then I activate his effect. By sending one card on my side of the field to the grave, I can destroy one card on your side. I think I'll destroy your drum. My drum? That's a pretty odd choice. Next, I'll have my... I can't attack? Both of magnets are on the field. You have to attack both of them. But you can only target one. You're battle locked, Mario. <sighs> of course. I'll end my turn. Well, Scrap Dragon will be able to destroy you next turn. Hmm. 
You brought out your synchro, it's only natural that I bring out mine. I normal summon a super heavy samurai fist. Now, I'll special summon Super Heavy Samurai Susanoa. That's a beefy monster. <laughs> yes he is. And you know what's so special about Super Heavy Samurais, right? What's that? They attack in defense position. Oh. And what's more, their defense points are used instead of attack points. Oh no. So they're immune so to that's cards a like thousand more. So they're immune to cards such as Mirror Force. Exactly. Entering my main main phase two, let me see what I can do here. <laughs> this will be funny. I activate Susan Noah's effect. Going into your graveyard, grabbing out your pot of greed, setting it to my field. You can use my spell cards? Yes I can, and I'll do that right away. And that banishes my pot of greed, preventing me from ever using it. All right. For now, I'll just strengthen my defense. And I'll end my turn. My draw. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Okay. That's not enough. Alright, I'll set another card face down. And I'll end the turn. This isn't going to help me right now, so I'll activate that. Hmm. Ah. I guess all I can do right now is attack you. Let's get rid of that shield, shall we? Yeah. My draw? Huh. Think that could work? Hmm. I'll set a card face down, and I'll end a turn. Your Susanoa was pretty tough. Oh, he's not even the best deck. He's not the strongest monster? Not by a long shot. But I'm going to equip my Soul Piercer onto my Susanoa. that do? It's gonna give him piercing damage. What? Let's see what this does to your face down. Won't allow that. I play my my trap card, Raigeki Break. By discarding what? one card from my hand, I can destroy one card on the field. Like your Susanoo. Hmm. Well played. But that activates my Soul Piercer's effect. I can grab one Super Heavy Samurai from my deck and add it to my hand. Mm. And I think I'm going to choose... How about my Big Ben K? Alright. For that, I guess I will... Hmm. I'll end my turn there. Alright, my draw. I do. They're not gonna be useful right now. Can't use you. I suppose I'll end my turn there. All right, I'll draw. Need to wait. Need to wait for the perfect moment. Way too many cards in his hands not to have some kind of counter. I've noticed something. Oh yeah? What is it? You've yet this is turn twelve. Yet you have not used a single spell or trap card. 
I thought you knew about Super Heavy Samurais, Mario. They're relatively new, so no. Super Heavy Samurais don't run Spell of Trap cards. Wait, now I remember. The guy I faced years ago. He had them, but they're not, they weren't as advanced as this. Exactly. I'm gonna get rid of these two monsters on my field. Just bring out my Ogre shooting Doji. I'm kind of just sitting and waiting, Mario. Let's get straight to the battle. So simple for you to bring out synchros, huh? So easy with these guys. But now it's your move. Let's see what you can do. Alright. I think that's perfect. I normal summon my Goblinberg, activating his effect. I can then special summon my Chaos and Master. Now... Another tuner. <laughs> more than that, I then tune together Chaos and Master and my Goblinberg to bring out Power Tool Dragon. Now my Power Tool Dragon's ability activates. I can select up to three equipped spells from my deck, choose one of them and add it to my hand. Perfect. Mm. Let's choose this one. It is a select. It is random selected. I'm just showing you what you what the possibilities could be, but the best oh. possible one just came to my hand. I activate United. We stand on my power tool dragon, making Dang, it three thousand one hundred. Destroy his super samurai ogre. Mm. Now I'll end the turn there. My machine is tougher than your machine, that's for sure. We'll see about that. I'm going to special summon my big Waraji. Its effect? I can use him as two tributes for the summon of a super heavy samurai monster. That's perfect for my big Benkei. Oh. And its effect is when he's normal summon, I can flip him straight into defense mode. And if he has the effects of your synchros... He can attack in the fence mode. That's 400 more than mine. But I activate the effect of Power Tool Dragon. By sending away his equip spell, he can survive the attack. He survived for now, but... That just makes my damage greater next turn. Alright. I think it's time. I play Miracle Synchro Fusion. What? Now, I get to fuse any monster within my graveyard together. I choose to fuse my Millennium Shield with the Scrap Dragon in order to create Dragon Knight Draco. What is that thing? It's a fusion between warriors and dragons. Doesn't matter, the attack points are still less than my big thing case defense. You're not wrong. I had to use that card. Alright. Hmm. Let me see. If only I could bring out either one of you right now. But right now that is I can't do that. So for now, I'll switch my power to the defense mode and end my turn. Mm. Not gonna lie, right now your power tool is looking more dangerous than your Draco ex Exquisite, whatever that word is. Not letting you get another equip card, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Dragon Knight Draco Esquis. Yeah. Hmm. Need to wait for the perfect card. I'll end my turn right there. Alright, perfect. I'm going to special summon my super heavy samurai thief. His ability activates. I'm going to destroy one card in your spell or trap zone. That's my hmm. salt mode. And I could set it to my field, but that doesn't help me much. 
Now, let's get rid of that Draco Acquisite. Alright. I'll end my turn there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take a hit. Uh, I'll have to end my turn there. Alright. What's your move, big heavy samurai guy? My move? I'll special summon my super heavy samurai transporter. And now I'll go into my battle phase. Due to Big Ben K's effect, my transporter can attack in defense position too. What? I'm gonna need some big heart of the cards right here. What can you grab that can stop two high level, high defense monsters? <laughs> this might. I set a card face down. And I'll end my turn. Alright. I'll set a card of my own. And now, Big Ben K. Attack him directly. You activated my trap card. Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman. I can send one Buster Blader card. And one Buster Blader monster. Let's see. Let's send... Destruction Sword Memories. To then special summon... Buster Dragon. His <laughs> attack points are still lower. <laughs> I then activate Destruction Sword Memories, the card I sent to my graveyard, which allows me to fusion summon using Buster Blader and Dragon Knight in order to bring out Buster Blader the Destruction Destroyer. <sighs> Monster strong okay. enough monster strong enough to take down your toughest beasts. Alright then. I guess I'm just gonna get rid of your buster dragon then. Before you do that, I activate his effect. This allows me to equip one Buster Blader mon one Buster Blader Whelp from my graveyard onto my monster. Like Wizard Buster. <laughs> Why does attack points get so low? You'll understand soon. Not as much of a threat anymore. Perfect. Now, I activate Reinforcements of the Army. This allows me to add one warrior from my deck to my hand. Like? Hmm. Yeah, I'll add Rose, Warrior Revenge to my hand. Then, I activate Monster Reborn. This allows me to bring back one... One monster from either of our graveyards. And I think I'll choose... Where are you? Ah, my Goblinberg from my graveyard. Not choice, but okay. Then I normal summon my Rose Warrior Revenge. Now, I tune together Rose with Goblinberg to bring out my my ultimate monster, Colossal Fighter. <laughs> Barely. Then, I activate Solitary Sword of Poison. This allows me to equip my Colossal Fighter with this card. What? Why did it immediately go to the grave? Oh, 
right, he needs to be the only card on the field. Well, I'll have Colossal Fighter destroy your Super Heavy Samurai supporter. Then I'll have my Buster Blader attack your face down. That would hurt, but my blowtorch can't be destroyed by battle. <sighs> oh, he just piercing? Yes. Buster Blader can deal piercing damage. Yeah, that's not good. I'll then end the turn there. Alright. What's your next move? We'll see here. Go ahead, why don't you attack my Colossal Fighter then? If you're gonna goad me into it, I think I will. <laughs> 100 attack points or less, he's destroyed. You see, there's something that's missing from your machines. They what would don't, that be? They don't have a soul. They don't have the spirit of a warrior. That's something Colossal Fighter has in bulk. Or should I say, in Colossal Sizes. Because when he's destroyed by battle, he can get him, pick himself right back up and come right back to the field. He's back? Oh, yes. Still doesn't have enough. I end my turn. No, I gotta start a card. This isn't useful. Get rid of my other Big Ben K in my hand. Alright. Ooh, yes. I play Karma of the Destruction Swordsman. What this allows me to do is I can banish three of the same type of monsters in your graveyard. And if for every one I do, a Buster Blader monster on my side of the field gains 500 attack points for each one. I only run machines. Oh yes. It's enough to destroy your big banky. <laughs> I activate my Soul Buster Blowtorch's effect. When my monster is attacked, I can change the target to him. Well, that will be enough to destroy you! Oh yeah, he does piercing. <sighs> you... You let your... Huh. I have to talk about it. But... That was... I, I guess... I, my, I forgot he had piercing damage. Well, luckily this wasn't for Star Chips or else that would have been really bad for you, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, but now I gotta find another duelist to kill. Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Well, well, actually, I guess I just earned that rare card then. Yeah, about those, what even are the rare cards? Don't know. Yeah, well... I'll, I'll be looking for you on the island. You're gonna want this rematch. I'll be waiting for it. Just don't allow a piercing monster to attack your lowest monster. Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Mari boy. Hello. I don't think we've probably met before. Oh, uh, Mr. Pegasus, sir. Uh, no, I don't think we've ever met. You're quite the up-and-coming duelist from what I hear. Even Kaiba sent some praise your way. Even a minor word is high coming from him. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Um, thank you, Mr. Pegasus? Oh, please, just call me Pegasus. No need for the formal stuff with me, just relax. Oh, uh, of course. Is there anything I can help you with, Pegasus? Well, actually, from what I have been hearing, you have been helping me. 
in regards to getting rid of those illegal counterfeit cards off the street. Oh, uh, yes, uh, I've been fighting them for about a year now. But sadly, I never got close to the master at all. He always kept getting away from me. Well, if Kaiba's plan works, he should be finding his location soon enough. But that's not why I'm here, though. To say thank you for all your support, I decided to make something special for you. Special? Colossal fighter support? An actual archetype? Oh, uh, huh. That might have been a good idea, actually, since he's your ace, but, uh, but no. Uh, I'll never get a Colossal Fighter Archetype. But I know how much you love that card, and it's hard to achieve Assault Mode form, so I created cards specifically made for that. Oh, that sounds amazing! Can I see them? Oh, can't do that. Wait, but you said... <laughs> I made them for you, yes. But I didn't say I was going to give them to you straight up. This is a competition, Mari boy. I can't simply give you the cards, as others will think I'm giving you an unfair advantage. Then, how do I... Instead, you will earn them. Throughout the island, there will be areas that will be holding these cards. And if you can find them, they will be yours. But if you don't... Maybe some of the other players will find them first, and you'll have to defeat them to acquire them. This seems like a lot of effort for those cards. Oh, trust me. These cards are powerful. Powerful enough to maybe carry you through this tournament. Good luck. Toodles! That is the strangest rich guy I have ever met. And I know Kaiba. Come one, come all, welcome to Duelist Kingdom, the infamous island that crowns the future king of games! The rules of this tournament are a little more interesting this time. You'll all be competing to gain 20 star chips. The first eight duelists to achieve this goal will compete in the castle for the final rounds. But be wary of the stadiums around the island. They might hit you with surprise rules. Duelist Kingdom starts now! Toodles! Oh, what a hopeless case we could be